So how do you break a pattern? Uh, I'm uh, inspired to talk about that because I was talking with a friend about uh, patterns and I was asking him uh, okay what's a pattern that you would like to change about your uh, dating life, love life and uh, he said to me okay I was in a relationship for seven years and then for uh, for a few years now it's been uh, a sea of non-serious things and he added uh, I might say had uh, troubled waters on, t on, on top of sea and it was kind of a joke like he had this quite uh, funny uh, jokey witty uh, attitude and and yeah and so that was kind of a joke and so to me it sounded like okay it sounds like um, like a series of uh, inebriated uh, one night stands or something like that and and that was correct <laughs> and the other thing that uh, struck me is like okay uh, it actually sounds kind of sad you know there is there seems to be uh, some sadness like in the in the image like the the troubled water and the the ocean and uh, so I, I said to him yeah it sounds kind of sad too and he said yes actually yeah so um, below the the joke like the joking and the pattern there is actually some sadness and and I think that's the the key to break a pattern is to actually connect with the um, the felt sense of this pattern so behind uh, the story behind the behavior there is like uh, emotional uh, tone and felt sense so and so uh, that's actually a, a therapy process um, it's called focusing it was invented by Eugene Jandlin I don't know if I pronounced that correctly and that's something I've been uh, studying in, uh, in the past few months and so the way the way you were you break this pattern I mean you might there are certainly thousands of ways to do that and certainly trying two new behaviors it's helpful so if you've had like only one night stands maybe try not drinking or not having sex so quickly that's something you can try but you can also um, yeah, work with the, the felt sense of this problem so the images are also uh, helpful that's an entry point like the the water the troubled water the ocean the sadness and then feel like the, um, the bodily sensation associated to the sadness like maybe there is heaviness in the chest maybe there is like contraction in the throat and uh, yeah just get in touch with it can you describe it how, what shape it has uh, and yeah and that's by by doing that like we we actually get in touch with a uh, with a part of ourselves that we might neglect otherwise and we might go about our days we're doing a lot and uh, and actually there is a part of us that that feels sad about this pattern and that feels left out and and if we listen to it first of all acknowledge it like say okay yeah yeah, I, I see you. You're, you're sad, and yeah, you feel like this, and and maybe uh, it will tell us something. Oh, uh, yeah, you want connection. Okay, yeah, I hear you. You want connection, so we are re-establishing like um, connection to ourselves, uh, which also, yeah, helps us be more. Uh, secure because we are, we are not 
ignoring uh, our feelings so uh, yeah it's it's a step to be more in touch with our feelings be more self-aware and also uh, it's like the change is kind of contained in the, the feeling so if you if you feel the, the feeling and the, the sadness it's not about like um, getting lost in it and wow that's loud yeah not not getting lost in it and and crying yourself to death but staying uh, present and just keep company with with this sadness then it, it, it transforms it moves and then maybe something else emerge and what what it will be we, we cannot tell and it's only the process can tell you what what's gonna emerge out of it and yeah and there, there is in this process there is like a movement forward to find a new pattern as well and which is kind of cool this process what well, the way I've learned it it's called an inner relationship focusing it also works with conflicted parts so it might happen that situation that one part of you wants to do something and the other doesn't and this process kind of uh, integrates that so you can be with all the parts and uh, resolve inner conflict so it's kind of cool i've learned this process like for the past uh, three months now and it's something i've been also uh, playing with uh, in the past and um, yeah, no, I, I want to practice more. I've practiced uh, quite a lot with uh, other students. And uh, now I, I want to practice with real life people uh, <laughs> that that don't know the process. So, um, so if you're interested and if you have a, a pattern you want to, to change, um, and you're interested in, in trying new process and it sounds reasonable to you uh, then I, I'd love to to hear from you and I, I will offer like sessions on donation basis so it means uh, it could be free it could be if uh, if um, you value my time and you value this process uh, and any uh, donation is also welcome, but for now it's, it's not like the, um, the most important part. So yeah, um, in our relationship focusing this process and how finding a way to integrate it into uh, changing your pattern. So that's what I have to offer now. And um, yeah, just write me a DM if you're interested. Yeah.